What is up with Apple? Hello, this is Chad Carnes, Chief Market Strategist with ETFGuide.com. Thanks for joining me. You know, Apple's price is around $430, but Wall Street analysts still have an average price target above 600 bucks for Apple. These same analysts had targets approaching $800 at Apple's price peak, and following them would have left you with a potential 40% paper loss or more. Remember in 2012 when the only thing anyone could talk about was Apple? Remember when its price was approaching 700 bucks and experts were calling for 1100 Apple, too cheap, deserves a $1,100 price tag, was a much discussed headline. In 2012, seemingly everyone owned Apple stock. That, of course, was the problem, and in hindsight, it was a very crowded trade. Currently, Apple's price of $430 is well below the expert analyst's average price targets, which last I checked was still in the $600 range. And, in, you know, it hasn't seen 600 bucks in over six months. My guess is it's only a matter of time before those pros continue to chase price lower, ratcheting down those targets back in line with reality. For more on analyst coverage or lack thereof of Apple, see one of our articles found at ETFGuide.com that's titled, Apple's Near 40% Collapse, A Lesson in Psychology. Apple's a wonderful example of how price, not fundamentals, is the only true leading indicator and can be used to help you get out of the way before disaster strikes. The best way to follow price is through the charts, and following the charts in Apple warned us of a trend change to down back in November. In a research piece which I wrote titled, Is Apple Stock in a Bubble? written on October 5th in 2012, I warned along with the following chart shown on the screen and, uh, using technical analysis that Apple is in a decade-long uptrend, but if price were to fall below 600 bucks, that would be a, a sure sign the four-year uptrend in Apple has changed to negative. This breakdown occurred the next month in early November after peaking a few about $50 higher near 700 bucks, And there's been no turning back as investors continue for the exits as Apple has fallen another 30% from that $600 price breakdown. On March 6, 2013, we also published an article on ETFGuide.com that looked at the shorter term chart of Apple and included a chart that I have on the screen now. This is where we warned of the head and shoulders pattern that was playing out. We also noticed a strong area of support that was likely to bring in short term buyers when price was flirting with the $420 range. There is hope for Apple holders as this price may finally find some support in the $400 price range as buyers from 2011 step back into support shown in blue, which I am outlining on the screen now. So what about today? <clears throat> in late 2012, right near its price peak, headlines such as, is this the golden age of Apple and it's not too late to get an Apple could be found everywhere. Although certainly toned down today, similar headlines still continue concerning Apple stock. Here are just a few from this week. Apple, favorite tech stock of asset managers. Could Apple take some more of Samsung's money? Apple, major concerns overstated and more than priced in. Although price has fallen 40% from its highs, sentiment towards Apple still is very bullish, as shown by a glance at major headlines concerning the company. This is not what you would expect to see after stock has already fallen 40%. From a contrarian standpoint, sentiment would need to turn bearish on Apple before any sustainable bottom is likely reached. In the ETF technical forecast that I published on March 24th can be found at ETFGuide.com, the next chart, along with commentary, price levels, and trade setups, was provided to subscri uh, subscribers with the warning, this chart, after bottoming at the red trend channel resistance in late January, and then again at the 2011 support zone in March, which is shown in by the blue square, Apple has caught a bid and is very near its trend channel resistance, shown by the blue arrow right here. It is expected that this resistance will hold and Apple will resume its downtrend farther into the blue support zone where its head and shoulder target resides. Apple is already down 6% since that analysis was published two weeks ago and here's the latest chart. Not only is the public still holding onto their bullish slant towards Apple even after a 40% price decline, Apple's chart continues to follow the bearish script for its head and shoulders topping pattern. When sentiment and technicals combine, the outcome can be extreme, which we are currently seeing with Apple's rapid price decline. 
Its head and shoulders pattern is a big warning sign that the NASDAQ and other equity markets like the S&P 500, Russell 2000, and Dow could also be setting up to follow it to the downside. The good news, though, is that there, is, there are specific price levels that will tell us if Apple's head and shoulders pattern is complete and the trend has turned back up. These levels allowed us to call Apple's March bottom as well as the resumption of its downtrend more recently. The charts have helped us get out of the way of Apple's decline, even as most experts remain bullish and hold on to a 40% potentially greater loss. Thanks for joining me today, and please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel, as well as our Twitter feed, and many other investment tools and research over at ETFguide.com. We offer a monthly newsletter, weekly ETF picks, and I also do a few times a week technical forecast. Thanks.